Okay, so um, I'm actually going to be doing one of these transformation videos. Um, I can't necessarily promise that it's going to be like 24 hours or 48 hours. I don't know how long it's going to take me um, because, honestly, I still have to work and I'm mom. So, um, but it, I, to me, I, I don't, it, it really, like, it's not going to take me like a week or anything. It just might, I don't know, take a couple days. But, um, so, but it really doesn't matter because to you guys, it's all going to be within a matter of minutes anyways. So, we're going to, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows, I'm going to be dyeing my hair, and, um, you know, probably whiten my teeth, and, um, my nails, I'm probably going to do something with my nails. I did just re, just redo them, but I'll probably do something a little different with those. Um, and, you know, make up the whole nine yards. It's going to be a pretty big transformation, so... Stay tuned, guys, and hopefully this turns out good and it's not a regret. So, um, let's see what happens. Hey, guys. So, I just wanted to pop back in real quick. First of all, because I was doing my eyebrows and I noticed while I was doing my eyebrows that I had nice little, um, black pepper in my teeth because I, right before that, had been eating those cracked pepper and olive oil, um, Triscuits, so... That's embarrassing. Sorry about that. But um, I also wanted to throw in that I'm going to be getting a spray tan also. So um, I'm lucky enough to that the salon I work at um, does do airbrush tanning. So I'm going to be getting a spray tan for my transformation also. So stay tuned, guys. Hey, guys. So um, I'm back today. It's the, actually the next day. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm battling a cold right now, so you're going to have to bear with me. But um, I'm back today. Um, I have something on my lip. Um, sorry about that. I'm like so scatterbrained today. But, um, I got a spray tan last night at work, so that's looking pretty good. I actually, I don't have any makeup on right now, except for my leftover eye makeup from my eyes, because I'm not going to lie. I actually had to sleep in my makeup last night because I didn't want to wash it off so quickly after getting a spray tan because you have to let it um, develop for so long and I didn't want to mess up the spray tan on my face so I slept in my makeup which is like a terrible thing to do but um, you know it is what it is so I did wash my face this morning but my eyeliner is waterproof and even with soap and stuff it doesn't come off and I to be honest, was just too lazy to, like, actually use makeup remover and take it off. But there's no makeup on my skin, so that's all spray tan, so that's looking pretty good. Um, so I'm going to dye my hair today, and I'm not going to show you guys because I want it to be a surprise because it's going to be a really big change, but, um, plus I have to do it in two steps because all I'm going to tell you is that I am no longer going to be blonde. So, um... Because I am blonde and I've been blonde for so long, you, I have to do this, you don't have to, but it's better to, I'm going to do this in two steps. I am actually going to, because I'm like a level, like bet between like a 10 and a 12, because I have like a couple different tones on my hair, and um, hair color ranges from like a 1, which is black, to a 12, which is like platinum, so I'm like between a 10 and a 12, and um when you dye your hair blonde, you remove the pigment from your hair. So I actually, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I actually have to, um, I'm going to dye it one color first, a color that I don't even want, but it's like a middle ground. It's, well, it's not quite the middle. I picked a seven, but um, that puts a level seven, I'm sorry. I, that puts like some pigment back into my hair gives, you know, it kind of like, it just replaces a little bit of pigment back in your hair. So I'm going to dye it that color, wash it out and everything, and then I'm going to go back over and re-dye it again with the color that I actually want. So it's a little bit of a lengthy process, but um, it's worth it because it's just like the better way to do it, to actually get the hair color to go properly back into my blonde hair. Because if I would just put the color that I actually want on first, um, because my hair is so light right now, and it wouldn't want to hold on to it. It would fade out really easy. So hopefully this is going to help it hold on better. 
I don't want to I don't want to give up what I'm doing but this is what I'm going to be using for the for the in-between color that I don't want um, and then this is what I'm going to be using for the final color but I don't want to tell you because I want it to be a surprise because it's going to be a big change so you know stay tuned for that final you know the hair result so see you in a bit guys hey guys okay check out this hair my light is like shining right on it so it looks like crazy intense um it's not <laughs> quite this bright and purple when there isn't like a spotlight shining right on it but um i'm kind of feeling it you know this is totally different. This is definitely my hair too. I dyed it, I swear. I, it's not a wig because like you, look, I, I have hair color on my scalp. So this is my hair. But um, I'm super impressed with this color. Like it is crazy shiny and stuff. But um, like I said, it's not quite, like it's actually like a little bit deeper in, um, in person in real life. But um, you know, I have my spotlight shining on me because it's makeup time. So, um, I actually, I've got like such a glare on me too, so it's probably hard to see, but, um, I did do the spray tan, so I'm going to have to dig in there. I haven't like swatched my face or anything, like tested it color wise to see where I'm at since I got my spray tan. So I'm going to go with the darkest stuff that I have that is like, cause I actually, I know a lot of people don't like, don't want to believe it. I'm sorry. It's like freezing cold in my bedroom right now. Um, and of course, like, you know, the typical mess behind me, because like I said in one of my other videos, we're in the process of remodeling, and, um, so everything's just kind of like a mess right now, but, you know, it is what it is. It's life, right? Um, and my good old nail polish back there, um, it's literally all my nail stuff and my nail polish. Um, but yeah, so, you know, the transformation's almost done. Um, I did do my nails also. Um, right now they're just white. It's a couple little smudges on them because I'm basically like a child that can't sit still whenever I do my nails to let them dry. Um, but I'm going to be doing another um, Valentine nail tutorial. Tutorial. <laughs> so um, right now they're just white. But um, once I get that video done, once I do the Valentine nails on them, and um, I'm going to come back and I'll link it in here. But... Um, yeah, so right now they're just white. I had to replace a couple of them. If you've seen any of my other videos, um, I've been doing the um, the DIY um, acrylic dip kits. I've been working with that. This will be the third time I put them on, and then this is the second. It's the third time I've done it, but the second time I filled them. So um, I've actually finally got the hang of it. So um, yeah, so now I'm like a big fan. You know, I'm a pretty big fan, actually. I think I'm going to be sticking with the acrylic dips now for, you know, for a while. I'm sorry. I have, like, like a fuzzy or something stuck to my nail polish, and it's driving me crazy. But, um, yeah, so I did redo my nails. But, oh, I was going to say I had to replace a couple of them. So that light is so blaring. But, like, the lighting in my bedroom sucks. So, like, I have to have, like, my um, camera light, you know, my filming light on me, um, to so you can see what's going on but um I replaced a couple so I did do them actually longer I said and when I first put these on I hadn't had nails on in like forever so um I went a little bit shorter and I figured because I was going to do like the coffin shape but like the nails were so long and I hadn't had nails on in so long that like I couldn't handle it so I ended up filing them down to a more square but um we're slowly getting there we're getting long I put like this one and this one I had to replace, so I just went ahead and put them on longer. Like, my son even said, like, Mom, your nails are really long. A couple of your nails are really long, which is kind of funny. But, um, you know, we're slowly getting them out there to get to, like, the coffin shape. So, we'll get there. Um, but, yeah, so it's makeup time. So, first of all, let's stick some primer on. Oh, but, yeah, it is so cold in my bedroom right now. Um, we got... There's, like, been this snowstorm that's been, like, hitting a lot of places. And we didn't get as much snow as what they were calling for. Sorry, my mirror's, like, right there. So, 
I'm gonna try to, like, look back and forth from you guys to the mirror, but, like, like I said in one of my other videos, being that, you know, everything is not exactly how I would love it to be right now, because this, this is my closet back here, it's just kind of like a makeshift closet, like, getting, you know, just kind of like, it's holding my clothes, but it's not, like, the prettiest thing in the world, but it will be eventually, um, but yeah, so we didn't, um, sorry, I was just reading a text that I got from somebody about my hair, um, so, um, oh, I'm sorry, I get, like, so sidetracked in my brain, um, we didn't get all the snow that they wanted, but it was, like, so cold, right before, um, I started recording, I looked at my phone, and I believe it said it's, like, nine degrees outside, but it feels like like, negative six or something like that, something, like, totally ridiculous, this shouldn't even happen, but, um, yeah, so it's really cold, and my bedroom's really cold, the rest of my house isn't cold, but my bedroom gets, like, super duper cold, so I've got, like, a heater sitting here, so you're probably gonna hear, like, this, like, light, like, buzzing kind of noise in the video, and I'm sorry, but it's really cold, so I had to, I had to drag the heater over. This foundation has a crack in it because, I don't know if I finished my thought. I'm actually, a lot of people don't think because I'm naturally kind of pale, um, and 35% says my DNA test, um, Italian, which I knew because my grandma came over on a boat. This is like frozen. My grandma came over from Italy when she was a little girl. So, it's like coming out the hole in the side. This is terrible. Ew. Come on. This stuff is really, 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 really thick, too. Um, it's the Dermacol. try that again. Dermacol? Derma, Dermacol? I think it... I had seen an ad for it. I think it was on Instagram. And I was so intrigued that, like, I had to order some. But, um, let's see. I actually might match up with my neck okay. I did get the spray tan on my face, but, like, you know, you wash your face twice a day. That was damp, but, like, I messed around too long. Um, and I didn't dampen it like I should have, but, you know, we'll make it work. <laughs> um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh, I did spray tan my face, but, like, I don't shower and wash my body twice a day, but, you know, I do wash my face twice a day, so that does affect, you know, your spray tan. So it's not as dark as the rest of me. It's actually a pretty good, pretty good match. But yeah, I have it because I am Italian and I do tan, even though my skin's not super dark, like, on the day-to-day -day natural, I do tan really well in the summertime. So, even though I have quit actually laying out, and, um, I used to lay out all the time, on a trampoline even, because it's black, so it would, you know, you just get a darker tan because the black attracts the, the heat or the sun or whatever. Um, so, but I quit tanning because, um, well, A, it's not healthy for you, and B, honestly, like, I don't want to, I don't want to age myself any faster than, like, I'm already naturally aging, so...
Um, yeah, so I quit tanning. So, but I still had that makeup for when I did tan in the summertime. Like, there was one year we went to the beach twice, I think. We went to um, the beach twice that that summer. And between going to the beach twice and then just being outside here, um, it was really, really dark. So, my poor skin is feeling like it is feeling winter. It is so dry. Um, I better go with, I'm actually not a fan of this concealer. It is the Too Faced Born This Way. It's supposed to be like super coverage, it said. Now, I have terrible dark under eye circles. I just stuck that right in my like tear duct. Um, I have terrible dark under eye circles and um, I just don't, I don't think it covers as good. I don't think it covers, like it doesn't cover as well as my shape tape, but my shape tape is pretty light. And I don't think, I think it's going to be too light with my spray tan now. So, but another th good thing about getting a spray tan is it kind of helps hide my under eye circles anyways. So, you know, kind of, kind of all works out in the end. Um, let's see here. I do want to, but anyways, yeah, this came actually a little bit darker than my shape tape. Mm. So, we're just going to use it. I need to wash my, um, sponge and my brushes, like, so bad. I haven't been this dark in so long, like I don't even, it's like I don't even know how to do my makeup. I'm sorry guys, I keep like looking at my mirror and looking at the viewfinder and I'm trying to, trying to look at you guys too. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't been this dark in so long though, because like I don't even know how to do my makeup anymore. Okay, I just got the Urban Decay All Nighter, um, it's a waterproof setting powder. I didn't even realize it was waterproof when I ordered it. Um, but I just got it. I'm so excited. If you guys don't know, I know I've said in other videos, um, that I order a lot, actually, a lot of my makeup from QVC, and what I love about it is they actually just started carrying, um, I think it was Too Faced and Urban Decay. I feel like that's pretty new, too. But they have Urban Decay, Too Faced, Tarte, they have Fair Minerals, they have, I think they have some Becca, um, Mally, they have a lot, a lot of name brand cosmetics, and what's really nice is if you order from QVC, um, you can order on Easy Pays, and they'll split it up into like six Easy Pays, so instead of spending like 25, I, I'm going to say this was around $25, you know, um, so if you don't have like the 25 bucks to run out and buy some powder, you can just get on there and order it, you know, and you can have it home, you know, if you pay for shipping for, you know, between five and six dollars, because you just pay your first payment right when you order it, and then they'll send it to you, and then you just pay every month. So, yeah, it takes you six months to pay it off, but if you don't have the money to just run out and buy, you know, like, maybe you're something you're really liking, but you don't, you know, like, you just can't, you know bear the thought of spending 25 bucks or whatever on something, you know, at one time, you can, it'll split it up for you and there's no interest or anything. I'm not sponsored. I don't work for them. I just buy a lot of makeup that way. So anyways, I just got this. I'm really excited about it. I didn't know it was waterproof. I just, I always use, um, a loose setting powder. I typically, I have I have the Becca um, Soft Light Blurring Powder in Pink Haze, which I actually really like. My face needs like a little extra glowiness. I'll throw that on at the end. But 
I also use, I would typically always use my Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. It's called Smooth Operator. I always use loose powder as a setting powder anyways. And I was watching somebody's video. I can't remember whose it was off the top of my head. But they were using, I can't remember if it was this specific kind or not. But they were using like the like a compact setting powder. And I was like, what? So I'm like, I need to try that. Because that's who I am as a person. Like, I see something and I'm like, I need to try that now. Okay, so first impression. Super cute little compact too here. And I want to say... I want to say it's magnetic. Um, I need to wax my lip. <laughs> um, I like it. I think I like it. It looks, it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice so far. Okay, so that's a win. Happy with that. All right. I want to do something. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like. I know this is not what you want to see, but I'm like battling a cold, and like I said, it's like freaking freezing in here. So, you know. Um, okay, let's, let's do some like contouring and stuff. Um, this is just, I don't know if this is going to be dark enough with my spray tan. I really don't. I might have to break out some bigger guns. That was just a little Alta Compact. It's actually like super... It's the Alta Beauty Collection. That's all it says. Alta Beauty Collection. Um, it's like, like a rose gold color. And you've got like your blushes and highlighters and bronzers and eyeshadows all in one. I actually got this free. I ordered... It was like around Christmas time. Uh, or so. Uh, maybe it wasn't around Christmas time. I can't remember. But I ordered off Alta. And if you spend so much money, you got this for free. So. Um. This is another Alta palette I have. Um. This actually came. I used it in one of my other videos. I actually got this in like a big thing. From Alta. So. Yeah. There's some more pigment in this one's a little bit darker. Whoops. Just totally dipped in the shade I didn't want. I can't believe how bright my hair looks with this, um, like, spotlight on it. <laughs> it looks more of, like, um, like a black, like, deepy purple. When it's not having a spotlight shine, like, shown right on it. So, this is interesting. I do, you see if you do your um, contour, your bronzer in like a three, in essence, it usually makes for a pretty nice, pretty nice shape. Now the real question is, what kind of blush am I going to use? I don't want to get rid of that too far because that's my highlighter that I like. Um, I guess I'll just go with this one for my Alta. I like Alta's makeup. 
I don't have a ton of just their Ulta brand. I had bought a big kit a while ago. I think it was like on a Black Friday. It was like this big case. That, that's where I, like this was in there. And um, I do like, so, and then I got this free one. And I think that's all I have from the Ulta brand. I do use their um, 24 karat gold magic beauty oil, which I love. But um, I feel like they could throw a little bit more pigment into their into their product. But, um, you know, they're okay. And they're cheaper, so that's always nice, too. Um... Lots of kickback. Um, I'm just going to throw some highlighter. See if we can blind anybody with our highlighter tonight. Because I feel like if you're doing a transformation, you should probably go all out and throw in some some good highlight, right? Okay, I think what I'm going to do, I just wanted to chit chat with you guys for a little bit, but to like, for the whole like, um, transformation experience thing, I'm going to turn you guys off right now, and I'm going to finish up my makeup, and we'll come back for a final reveal. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, guys, here we are. We're back. Um, I'm done. I'm trying to get you guys where you're not, like, glaring in the light, but this angle makes me look not tan and a little bit crazy. <laughs> but, um, what do you guys think? You know, what do you think about my very extreme transformation. Um, here at the end I'm going to go ahead and stick the before and after in um, pictures so that you can you know really see and compare. Uh, this is a terrible angle for me but my light's there and it just is what it is at this point. So um, what do you guys think? Um, you know, leave me some comments. Please don't tell me that you think <laughs> that I look better with the blonde hair because like I may cry. <laughs> Because eh, this is not exactly going to be easy to go back to blonde after this, if this is not a win. So, um, thanks for coming along on this transformation with me, guys. It was actually a lot of fun. And, um, you know, please, I would really, you know, love it if you would subscribe to my channel. You know, hit the little bell so that you get notified whenever um, I upload a new video. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a Valentine, another you know, Valentine nail tutorial, so that'll be fun, and, um, I would just, you know, come, you know, follow me, join the party, so, um, let me know what you guys think of this transformation, guys, and, uh, be gentle, <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you like it, if you think it worked out good, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you next time, guys, and make sure you hang around for the, you know, I'm gonna sh stick the before and after pics in here, um, you know, right here when I'm done. So I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.